Hey Libra, this is your May reading. If you have a sun, moon, or rising sign in Libra, in the Venusian sign of Libra, okay? This is jumping out. You got a lot of um, two of wands this month, Libra. So you got the two of wands, the devil, and the six of swords. So two of wands is really about a decision. It's about, you know, a new path. The devil is Saturnian. It's Capricorn. It's uh, about restrictions, about boundaries, about constraints, about limitations, um, about control, domination. You know, there's a higher and lower vibratory scale for everything. Uh, so it looks like you're leaving behind. You're making a decision to leave behind um, some type of control, some type of Saturnian energy. Could even be a Capricorn. Okay. Can you tell me about this decision for Libra in the month of May? Great Spirit, tell me about this decision, this Two of Wands. Tell me about this decision. What kind of decision or what info can you give us? that Libra needs to know for the month of May about this decision. Yeah, cutting people out or there's something you've been researching. This is um, an obsessive card, okay? So this is cutting out obsessive energy, Libra, or um, I'm feeling also there's a situation that you're giving a lot of energy to that you're not receiving from. So we got, and we got the two of uh, pentacles, which is about balance and decisions as well. So two, two. Twos are also relationships, harmony, um, balance, a decision. Great Spirit, tell me about this restriction for the sign of Libra. Okay, we got another two, the two of cups. And the Five of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and the Nine of Cups. So it's like you're making a decision to cut somebody out because you want a harmonious relationship. Once you cut this extra baggage or whatever it is, whatever the situation is that you are feeding, whatever wolf you're feeding is the wolf that will get strong so and I'm not remembering the story you know fully but I just got this message from spirit about this old proverb about which you know which wolf you feed and you have a situation that you are putting energy into you know whether it's mental it's some type of behavior you know that you're not aware of how you're feeding this negative outcome or this lower vibratory relationship but it's time for you to cut that out and walk into this harmony, this balance, this two of cups. You know, you're walking away. We've got the five and six of swords. It's like you're moving away from this competition and drama. You really are seeking harmony. You are going to be, you know, and moving away from this restriction. You know, sometimes restriction is good if you are, um, you know, out of control or too impulsive. But for you, it's like, stagnation and was uh, keeping your energy low and it felt like the container is being upgraded. Maybe that's you being upgraded. You are going to be receiving messages about some kind of new offer. Okay. Receiving messages, the eight of wands. That's a quick message. It doesn't feel like it's a complex or detailed message and it, but it feels like it's just enough for you to go, okay, I know what to do now. And uh, boom, you move away from this restriction, this limitation. The result here being the Nine of Cups is pretty huge. This is, you know, wishes fulfilled. This is very lucky. This is emotionally stable. This is emotionally fulfilling. So the outcome of you, you know, making this decision and seeking balance is very rewarding. Two, two, two. So I would look for twos. As well, Libra, this month, the month of May. Great Spirit, is there an animal that Libra 
is akin to this month that Libra can call on. Okay, what animal spirit, what animal guide can Libra call on? Okay. The vulture. Okay. What does the book say about the vulture? This is obviously air. Okay. Guardian and purifier. Essential for rebalance. The vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. You know? And it's that drama, but it's and maybe that's the constraint. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. It's this situation, you know, that you're moving away from. Okay. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or a tragedy is actually a blessing in disguise for you. So this situation that you're cutting out uh, there might be a tendency to move into shame or blame, like to blame someone or have shame or guilt for yourself. And spirits like wanting you to move past and use that energy and move past any blame or shame or guilt that you have because and, and use the energy right away because there's another new opportunity moving in very quickly. Uh, it's some relationship. It, it feels like for a lot of people, this is partnership. This is love. But for some of you, it's also like how you make your coin, how you make your money, your work. Spirit's also saying like you can organize your space, move something aside, like in your workspace, move something around, organize, even if it's a drawer, a desktop. Um, because that moving that energy is going to be like, uh, with this page of swords is going to be make room for this vulture energy for new, um, you know, spiritual, higher vibratory energy to move through. Let the vulture take away what no longer serves you. This is a very useful, especially like I said, your container is upgrading, um, you know, I think that your body, it could be that you you taking care of your body and cutting this out prevents some type of ailment. So be surprised at what stress does to your body too. And the habits, you know, when you're around people that have bad habits, you pick up those habits. So just remember, um, all those things matter. Let the vulture remove, you know, situations, people's jobs, friendships, that no longer serve you. I asked for a rune for you for the month of May, Libra, and we got Manaz, self, social order, and mankind. So you can use this rune in the month of May. If you feel called to use this rune, you can use it as a light language, you can use it as a sigil, um, self, and social order, and mankind. So your like solar plexus, your your um, will is going to be very strong, which will allow you to, you know, make that decision to cut that thing out that you need to cut out. Let me know how that resonates for you, okay, Libra, what you're cutting out, how you utilize this vulture energy. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much, Libra. I hope that resonated.